Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video on this Black & Decker 12 cup programmable coffee maker. So I've got other videos on detailed reviews and descaling and how to make a cup of coffee, but I wanted to cut this one open to show you what it was like on the inside. So if you remember from my video, this is where we put the water when we're ready to brew it. And then it come, the hot water comes out this and it goes into your coffee grounds right here and goes out. But this thing was awfully dirty on the inside. It just had never really been cleaned. And, and these, these water tanks are really, really hard to clean. Um, but you can. you got to get in there with a brush and brush it and rinse it out. So, But here's the water tank. And you can see that you know if you don't keep up with cleaning, this is what they kind of look like. They get kind of a, I don't know, they just look really bad on the inside. But, so there's your water tank. Your water's gonna come, so at the bottom of the water tank, your water goes, comes in this hose right here. And then this is the heating element that heats the water. So it goes through here, it gets heated up, and then it goes this way. There's like a little check valve here that keeps it from going back into the tank. So when it gets heated up, it goes out this pipe. And if you look at this pipe, this pipe comes up. And then this pipe is connected to the brew head and it comes out the brew head. So that's how it works. So on this one, so this, this horseshoe is the actual heating up. Like I said, that's where the water, I cut this tube open. I was really curious to see what it looked like on the inside of this tube. And, you know, why do we descale? We descale because of this area right here. You know, your calcium is really not going to build up in your, your flexible pipes too much. But it's gonna, really going to start attaching to the heating element. And this is the heating element. So this one looked like it had been... This this one was heavily used. But I'm not sure if they kept up on the descaling or not. But it looks pretty good on the inside. So that's the area. When we put vinegar in and the vinegar gets heated up and it gets shot out here. And when we let it soak, this is what we're letting soak. So in my videos, I, I'll tell you... Okay, put the vinegar in, let it start brewing, and then shut your coffee maker off to uh, let it soak. And this is the area it's, it's soaking. And it does have a control board um, right here. It's got a relay. You'll hear that relay clicking whenever you uh, turn your coffee maker on. So you can take the bot. I took the bottom off of this. That's about the only thing you can take off. There are some screws hidden underneath these rubber feet. So take those rubber feet off and you can get those screws out. I don't see much that can be uh, replaced other than a hose, say, comes off or starts leaking. You know, getting up to that hose would be pretty tough. But if it came off right here, I think you could reattach it and put it back together. This is also the heating element that keeps the warming plate. So this is your warming plate that keeps your pot warm. So that's about it. These things are very simple and they're very similar. Even though the controls, so the control panels are all different on most coffee makers. You know, there's your on-off button. Um, they all pretty much operate the same things. I've got another video. So I cut open these other two, four, six, these other five coffee makers. And you'd be surprised how similar these coffee makers all are. So I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.